Hi again, everybody, and welcome to the Wednesday edition of Litter Media Live. I'm Dan Ramey. And he's on camera. And I'm Aaron Glandon. There he is, Aaron Glandon. Made uh, a screen debut probably 10 days ago? Friday. Was it Friday? Yeah, it was less than a week ago. Wow. Hell, it seems like it was yesterday. <laughs> which, which you were on yesterday. I was on also, yesterday, yes. You? Okay. Uh, we are back at it to share with you the good news of things going on in our communities surrounding Chillicothe and points beyond. So we'll touch on all that. And uh, why not start with the weather? Let's start with the weather. Okay, we will do so. Our weather for today, we're looking at sunny conditions and warmer, a high of 75 today. Mostly clouds for tomorrow, a high 66. There is a threat of some rain tomorrow. You see around 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow. Uh, cooling to 56 for a high on Friday under partly sunny skies. I think uh, you and I being down on the field Friday will have to bundle up a little bit for this game. Yeah, it's been uh, pretty chilly the past couple weeks. However... Um, you know, when you move around like we do along the sidelines, that kind of keeps you warm. That's true. Yeah. Uh, Mike and Tom, they'll be in the comfy confines of the yeah, Taze the Valley press cozy box. up there. So <laughs> I've been in that press box. It's, sometimes it's not too cozy. But it's going to be jam-packed for Bishop Watterson and Bloom Carroll. We'll touch on that in just a moment as well. Coming up in a moment, we'll take a look at what's making news for us across the side of the valley and a look at sports. But first, these words from Accurate Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Do you have an issue with your heater, your air conditioner, your plumbing? Click on this ad anywhere you see it at littermedia.com. It takes you right to Accurate's website. You'll find out where they are, what services they do, and I'm telling you, they've got a wide range that they cover all the way from Dayton over to Athens and from Columbus south to Portsmouth. Your trusted comfort advisor is accurate heating, cooling, and plumbing. News. Our mobile next. banking app is changing the way we bank. Things are getting easier. Transactions are getting safer. And you have access 24-7. All the functionality of banking you're used to made easier to use anywhere, anytime and more secure than ever. Simple, seamless, safe. Download our Kingston National Bank mobility app today. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Nickelode Ultra. For transportation options in Ross County, call Ross County Health District's Mobility Management Team, 740-779-9652. Find a career you love with Big Way Ross Adult Education. Skilled trades careers are in high demand with no signs of slowing down. Big Way Ross offers career training programs with expert instructors and hands-on learning tactics to create a variety of opportunities. Visit our website for more information. Just had a look-see, and I saw that it's uh, Jonathan Davis's birthday today. He's the superintendent of Pickaway Ross Career and Technology Center. Also, Kingston National Bank's Marty Ford is having a birthday today. I go to church with that guy. Happy birthday, Marty Ford. And you heard it here on Litter Media Live. All right, Tuesday selection. Results are in. And while we're not going to go through all the results, you can find them on your own going to our website, littermedia.com. There are links to 10 area counties that have their election results posted online. Now, we will tell you that many mayoral elections in our area were unopposed, but Chillicothe incumbent Luke Feeney won re-election with 52% of the vote. In Circleville, Michelle Blanton was elected to her first term with 62% of the vote. Waverly has a new mayor as Richard Henderson defeated incumbent Greg Kempton. Asheville saw Steve Welsh get 725 of the votes over Nelson Embry, who was finishing the term of Chuck Wise, who passed away earlier this year. And Don McDaniel is now the mayor of Lancaster. He was unopposed, but uh, current Mayor David Scheffler is retiring from his term. So both statewide issues passed. You'll find the links again of all 10 area counties uh, that we serve available now at lettermedia.com. The villages of Clarksburg and Frankfurt, Adena Health System, and Adena Local Schools will be holding a public meeting to present 
the Warrior Wellness Center proposal submitted for the Appalachian Community Grant next Wednesday. That is the public meeting, 5.30 to 6.30 at the Adena Local Schools Auditorium. The partners encourage community members to attend to see not only architectural renderings, but also uh, grant details and information about the partnership with Adena Health Systems. Now, should the grant be awarded, uh, the project could receive several million dollars to make that proposal a reality, which has got to be pretty cool for that part of the county. Right. So is this like a gym? A wellness center. A wellness center? I like, would think it is. Okay. So that, that would be pretty awesome. So we'll, we'll learn more at this public meeting yes, next we Wednesday. Will. <laughs> so you have to make sure you get to the meeting to learn more. All right, the final public concert of the Legions is coming up and this Saturday night, featuring nearly half of those who have performed in the band over the years. Formed by six Chillicothe students in the 1960s, founding member Steve Hummel told us on a special edition of Litter Media Live last week that the Legions reunited in 2011 and have performed regularly since... 2012. Now, I want to take a look at this. Uh, they gave me the set list. Yeah, you were singing some of it earlier. Yeah, C- Steve brought this in, and uh, singing and humming is a different... Uh, well, do you want to give us a rendition right now? Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There you go. Can't buy me love. It, it's, a, it's a Beatles jam-packed first set. Uh, they're going to open up with money like they've usually done, uh, followed by Day Tripper, She Loves You, can't Buy Me Love, Twist and Shout, Mama Don't Dance, and then you get into a lot of other sh- songs like Chain of Fools. Uh, for what it's worth, they'll play Wipeout. Now imagine if they started with Pink Floyd's money. Oh, it would be a long concert. Yeah. <laughs> the, the set list would shorten uh, because they wouldn't have time to get everything in there. But uh, uh, Honky Tonk Women, At Last, Handyman, Some Kind of Wonderful, To Love Somebody, Tequila Sunrise. Good uh, stuff on there. Yeah, there there will be songs to dance to, songs to party to, and songs to slow dance to. They'll, they'll do that as well. As uh, Steve told us on the program last week, he says, yeah, we'll play a couple songs where people can kind of get together. And that's this Saturday? That's this Saturday. Will you be there? I, I don't know that I'm going to be able to be there. But uh, if you want to be there, make sure you're there. Tickets are $10. Gates will open up, or the doors, <laughs> to the gymnasium at Bishop Leger will open at 6 p.m. The music starts at 7. And uh, I, it, it has escaped me the name of the band that's going to be opening for them. So they do have a, an opening band also. But then they'll have several different members of collections in what Steve was calling chapters Okay. Of previous Weijin's. Weijin history. Precisely. You'll kind of have the legacy lineup. That, that's why it is being called the Weijin's All In Concert. Everybody gets a chance to play their tunes, as it were. So, again, that's uh, 7 to 10 p.m. up at Bishop Leger's school. Bishop Leger also preparing for their Christmas bazaar and the chicken noodle carryout dinner. That's 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., and it's taking place on November 18th. This is always uh, actually 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. is the actual bazaar. But they'll have dinner 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. That's for those of you that don't call supper dinner because it's not that late. This is your lunch dinner. My grandpa always called lunch supper or er, dinner. Is that right? He, I would go to their house when uh, my parents were at work, mm-hmm. and he'd say, what do you want for dinner at like 11 a.m.? Uh-huh. And it always confused me. Did, did he hit the old triangle to let you know to come in and, and play? No. You're out playing and then come in to I don't. I don't know what kind of reference you're making right now. Is that right? But yeah. The old Westerns, they used to have the uh, the workers would be out in the field. And well, they'd go out and they'd hit this triangle and get your attention to come in for dinner. Time I've never for vittles. Never seen that. You've never seen that? Nope. Uh, you got to start watching some of the old TV shows. Uh, Gunsmoke? Uh, uh, I imagine they may have had it in Gunsmoke. I, I can't can't tell you an episode that I might have seen that in. But all those old Western movies you'd see. So. Well, I've seen the, uh, I've seen, what's the one with Clint Eastwood, Good, the Bad, and the Ugly? Oh, yeah. And Fistful yeah. of Dollars. I've seen those, but. I don't think, I don't remember a triangle being I don't remember those. Well, those were Italian movies. 
Yeah, I don't know if they, they might uh, use a different way to call them in from maybe. the from the back 40 to come to, to dinner. <laughs> or even if they call lunch dinner in Italy. Who knows? Spaghetti Westerns, as they used to call them, right? Military heroes are going to be honored. They always are honored every day at the VA Medical Center here in Chillicothe, but especially over the next few days. At the Chillicothe VA Medical Center, the first event is tomorrow with other events planned in area communities that the VA covers. Now, there's 18 different counties that they cover Friday through this Monday. So, veterans, we salute you, and they will also be saluting you at the VA Medical Center. Christmas with John Barry makes a return trip to Chillicothe on December 13th at the beautiful Majestic Theater. Now, if you want to see the show before the Chillicothe stop, he's also making a stop at Ironton High School this year. That's on December 5th at 7 p.m. The Grammy-winning singer-songwriter joined us last year to talk about the concert, and you can find that interview on our Litter Media channel, uh, our YouTube channel, right now. Uh, find ticket information at johnberry.com slash tour. And the Lancaster Parks and Recreation Department is announcing the Winter Lights event happening at Alley Park is only four nights this year. And it's December 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th from 6 to 8 p.m. each evening. The event is free of charge. Haven't been up there to see this. Got to make a trip up this year. There's another... Uh, Beautiful lighting display that takes place down in uh, Gallipolis as well. Or as some people say, Gallipolis, which is the actual pronunciation of the city. But we'll have the lights on here at Young Tanchi Park as well coming up. Yes, we will. We November talked about 17. that yesterday. Mm -hmm. With Teresa Reap. You can find that interview on our YouTube channel. And I believe they're coming back in before. Uh, we, we haven't scheduled a date, but I, I think they're coming back in again to talk about it the week of. Mike? Um, actually scheduled, we're talking to them next Tuesday about something else. Correct, correct. So we'll, we'll have extra Teresa Reap for you <laughs> here on Litter Media Live. All right, sports on the way next. But first, let's tell you about Scioto Valley Dumpsters. If you have a cleanup job to be done, whether it be residential or commercial, they can help you out. All you need to do is pick up the phone and call Carl at 740 253 8389. Scioto Valley Dumpsters, they help clean up and not just dropping off the dumpster and hauling away. That's a given. However, in some instances, they will help you do the cleanup. Or even if you have some uh, teardown that you need done, they can do that too. Find out more at 740 253 8389 for Scioto Valley Dumpsters. Each week, Litter Media presents the Neil Coleman Insurance Wyandotte Mutual Player of the Week. If you have an athlete to nominate, any amateur athlete is eligible. Simply visit littermedia.com and click on Player of the Week. At the end of the year, we'll announce the Player of the Year. Make your nominations now at littermedia.com. Click on Player of the Week. Big yards. Small yards. Hilly yards. Silly Yards. Every yard is unique, and every yard, no matter how much you love it, can be uniquely frustrating to mow. That's why Country Clipper is designed to tackle any obstacle imaginable. It's the perfect mower for even the most imperfect yard. Country Clipper. Engineered for easy. Not sure if you'd hear Aaron Clandon accompanying on drums uh, for that day, event. Anything we do on the table, you hear through these microphones. Oh, can you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's learning, so we're 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 sharing. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Mike and I always had these meetings on the air uh, back during the radio days, and so it would be, uh, should we be talking about this in front of the public right now? May as well. Let's hit it head on. <laughs> I've noticed you guys do that sometimes. Yes. We, we certainly do. Some things never change. Our game of the week, Bloom Carroll and Watterson. They will meet at my alma mater, Taze Valley, this coming Friday evening. 
And we've got our Litter Media Game of the Week preview show scheduled for tomorrow at 12 noon. We'll be visiting with the head coach of Bloom Carroll, Jeremy McKinney, this afternoon. For this, we've not been able to connect yet with Watterson's coach, so I'm not sure how much we'll be able to share with you about the uh, Watterson Ball Club, but we'll try and certainly get that out there. Now, Bloom Carroll's game against Jackson, you released this morning the highlight video, I right? did. I finally got it up. I've... It's been hectic, but it, it's up there now. It, it is. See, and that's why it takes a while sometimes to get yeah. those things put together, doesn't it? So if you want to see how they performed against Jackson, it was exciting. Uh, you can find it now on our YouTube channel. I was on the edge of my seat during that game. Were you? The last couple minutes. See, that's the kind of games I like. Yeah. You can have those 35-point blowouts. Uh, sure, you have a commanding victory, but... To have the close games like what we had Friday night, I think that's that's what it's all about. Mm-hmm. So let's hope for another one again this Friday up at Taze Valley. Now keep in mind also we'll have Litter Media radio coverage of that with Mike Smith and Tom Beard. They'll be in the booth and we'll be down on the ground keeping you at ground level, uh, letting you know what what what's going on down there. Were your were your like feet cold on Friday night? No, my toes by the end of the game were completely numb. Is that I right? I couldn't feel I wondered why you were walking so awkwardly. <laughs> Was I? <laughs> <laughs> now we know the rest of the story, as the late Paul Harvey used to say. Southeast District boys and girls soccer teams have been released, and of course you can find all that information on our website. I can tell you that most of the awards went to uh, teams outside of our immediate area, uh, such as Marion, uh, Marietta and Logan and and places of that sort, but Chillicothe's Mike McCorkle was selected Division I Coach of the Year. So congratulations to Mike. That's not the first time he's received that award, but we congratulate him on that. You'll find the complete slate of players for all divisions on our website, littermedia.com. Ohio State holds the top spot in the latest college football poll. And uh, there right. you see the Ohio Bobcats score from yesterday. So we'll just jump right into that. Uh, Bobcats were 20 to 10 winners over Buffalo in the Mid American Conference football action. You see now they are four and two in the Mid American Conference East Division. They're seven and three overall. They will take on Central Michigan at Ohio next Wednesday. Now I know last night's game was Tuesday. This is part of that ESPN TV agreement that they did several years back. But they'll all be playing on Wednesday of next week. Buffalo will be at Miami of Ohio. Are we ready for the uh, top six now? I, I think this is another instance of the OBS gremlin stealing my files. Is that because, right? Uh, that was that's supposed to be what that is. Okay, it's not there. <laughs> well, Ohio State holds the top spot in the college football playoff rankings released last night. Georgia is number two. Michigan is third. Florida State is fourth, and then it is um, Washington at number five, and number six is Oregon. So, if uh, things were to play out, if this was the end of the season, Ohio State would be there hosting Florida State and whatever game they would be playing at I, I know that they wouldn't be hosting them at ohio stadium but they would be wearing the home unis right would be my my suggestion there all right uh, mls playoffs so we have that we do yes, looky we do. there uh, atlanta has forced a game three in their series with the columbus crew taking the crew four two last night they'll meet in a deciding game three sunday at lower.com field the winner advances to the Eastern Conference semifinals the next week. So good luck to the crew. Coming up in just a moment, this date in history. I've got to practice on my German. We'll share coming up after these words. At Rathcamp Financial, we act as your advocate in all wealth matters. We believe in long-term relationships and working to earn your continued trust with our customized investment solutions. Our greatest satisfaction comes from working with clients for many years and helping them realize their dreams. This is Andy Tomlinson. When insuring what's important to you, our agents are there when you need us the most. Tomlinson Insurance, for the best coverage at the best cost. Visit us online at tomlinsonins.com to learn more. You asked, we delivered. New Mike's Hard Lemonade Zero Sugar. Zero Sugar. Amazing taste. Years in the making. Now that's a drink worthy of the name Mike. 
You know, we have seven locations for McDonald's here in our territory. We're talking Circleville in Greenfield, four in Chillicothe, and one down in Waverly. And they have open interview sessions every Wednesday. From I was about two to say, five. Seven, seven locations, that's a lot of job opportunities. It is. I, and in the, we did a series of interviews with them, was it last summer? I think it was last summer. My, my years are running together here. But they had celebrated the 50th anniversary of the Mc, first McDonald's location, which mm-hmm. is right there at the corner of Bridge Street and 2nd Street. And uh, so we had the, a walk through memory lane. But while we were talking about that, each one of these locations employs about 100 people on its roster. So you're talking. That's pretty good. 700 employees. Yeah. So if you want to join the McCrew at McDonald's, simply stop in any one of those seven locations today, two until five, and have an open interview with the manager. And uh, next thing you know, you might be uh, helping to serve up some of those goodies. Do you think if you work for McDonald's, you get free Big Macs? You get free food. I know that. <laughs> I might have to take we're a not, second job. I was going to say, we're not losing you, are we? Is it, are you, I had a Big Mac yesterday. You, you work nights. Yeah, I could do that. Except for when we, we have a ball game. Right. You'll have to be there for that. <laughs> so, McDonald's, I'm loving it. All right, this date in history takes us back to 1895. This is physicist Wilhelm Röntgen. He died 100 years ago. He became the first person to observe x-rays, a significant scientific advancement that would ultimately benefit a variety of fields, most of all medicine, by making the invisible visible. Great beard. That is a nice beard. I I wonder if his hair is standing from some of the activity with an x-ray that it was (laughs) using. I imagine with the level of concern about radiation when they have, you know, they, in some instances they'll bring that lead blanket right. and lay on top of you when they do the x-rays. I always think it's funny. The doctor will give you that, and then they'll scurry around and get out of the room. <laughs> but they're like, it's totally safe. Don't Push worry about button. it. Yeah, and and I, I know that a lot of the women who are like dental hygienists, uh, they, they will come and they'll put that blanket over top of you and, they got to exit the room because of the potential for hazard to their bodies right. because of reproductive uh, circumstances. So not, not so much for guys, I guess. Right. Must, must be how you, how you hold the clicker. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I didn't pay attention to that part in, uh, in our science classes. But, yes, Wilhelm Röntgen was the guy involved with... Uh, the x-rays. Wilhelm. Yes. How, how do you... I wonder how they looked at him. I mean, it was 1895. Didn't have electricity. Probably in some areas. When was, when was electricity well, no, that's invented? true. That's true. I <laughs> yeah. think it was. Edison was a little before. That, but he was a physicist, a uh, German physicist. I, I don't know if he was... Stayed in Germany. I don't know. No idea. Mike didn't give us that information. Einstein was German, wasn't he? He was, but he came right here to America to right. get away from Germany. So all the smart ones are German. Well, German engineering is very huge. Very huge. Yep. All right. Uh, tomorrow we have a special edition for you at 10 o'clock, I believe. So let me take a look at my calendar just to make sure. Pretty sure that we have someone in here tomorrow morning. Yes, we do. Who is it? Scott Graham and Luke Feeney will be here to talk about Holiday Pops concert that's going to be taking place here soon at Ohio Chillicothe and Shoemaker Center. Uh, we'll have the regular edition of Litter Media Live. Then we'll have also the Litter Media Game of the Week pregame show. That will also be tomorrow at 12 noon. And then I've got to go be grandpa because uh, my wife is getting her nails done tomorrow. So, all certain things that you keep on your calendar when you have to be someplace. And we have to be someplace now, lunch. Yes, Uh, we do. That's it for the show today. Thanks for watching. Back at it again tomorrow with another edition of Litter Media Live. Don't forget to catch us on Facebook as well as on Twitter, our YouTube channel, and listen to Litter Media Radio. For Aaron Glandon, I'm Dan Ramey.
We'll see you next time.